Greetings and salutations, Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital here, and today I'm going to do my review of Fishing Sim World. Now keep in mind that most of what I say in this video is simply my opinion, and you are free to agree or disagree with me. Okay, so I'll be covering the pros and cons of Fishing Sim World, along with pointing out some of the bugs and glitches present in the current build. So, let's start with the good news first. Shall we? Fishing Sim World's graphics are great. The look of the lakes and their surrounding environments are pleasing to look at. Light reflects off the water realistically and you can almost feel the breeze as it rustles the leaves of nearby trees. Additionally, the fish models make the fish you catch appear alive, although they can look a bit plastic-like at times. But another cool aspect of the fish models is the variation of how the fish look within their species. What I mean is that not all bass look the same. Not all pike look the same. The color patterns and visuals of each fish seem to be unique, which I find adds a nice touch to the game. Overall, the visuals in Fishing Sim World are well done, and they are probably the best aspect of the game. Unfortunately, though, Fishing Sim World does have a 30 frames per second cap on the game. Now, I normally need a steady 60 frames per second in most of the games I play, such as first-person shooters and racing games, but for some reason, the 30 frames per second cap on Fishing Sim World doesn't bother me too much. Maybe because it is a slower-paced game, I don't know for certain, but I know the 30 frames per second cap will annoy some players. Oh, and there are both third- and first-person perspective options for players, but keep in mind that the first-person perspective shows just your rod and reel, not your hands and arms. Who needs hands and arms anyway? Moving on to sound, which is rich and ambient. The sound is very nice and realistically sets the tone for where you are fishing. Passing airplanes can be heard overhead along with the gentle waves brushing against your boat. Even the occasional barking dog and honking car can be heard in the background, and the sound adds to the overall ambiance of Fishing Sim World. Now you heard me mention boats. That's right, bass boats to be exact. There are a few options for boats that you can buy, along with different skins that you can dress them up with for your visual pleasure. The boats control as you would expect in a video game, and they add a nice touch, especially when traversing huge lakes like Lake Boulder and Lake Johnson in North America. You will notice a trolling motor at the front of the boat, which unfortunately is unusable at the moment, but I did see a developer in the Dovetail forum say that they plan on making the trolling motors usable in a future update. Hopefully, Dovetail will stay true to this statement, but given the track record of Dovetail, I wouldn't necessarily hold your breath. Now, it's time to mention the bad. As far as I can tell, of the seven lakes currently available in the game, you can only utilize the boats on the two North American lakes. There are a total of only 18 species of fish in the game, the vast majority of those 18 fish species being different species of carp. Now, I'm not too familiar with European fish species, but I believe they covered a good portion of them. Unfortunately, many North American species, such as bluegill, catfish, walleye, trout, salmon, muskie, etc. have been left out of the game. Let's move on to the tackle options. Although it's cool to be using licensed equipment, there is very little depth to the tackle options. There aren't any rod specifications regarding line and lure weight, and other than the reel's gear ratio, there are no statistics regarding what the max drag of a reel is, or what its line weight capacity is. You can basically put any type of line on any type of rod and reel setup. Also, I have seen no difference regarding the line strength. Using four pound line seems to have the same effect as using 20 pound line. I've reeled in 30 plus pound Northern Pike on seven pound test line. This would be close to impossible in reality, as a fish would either break your line or spool you. Now, I wouldn't mind these nuances and tackle options if there wasn't the word sim in fishing sim world's title. The game is supposed to be a simulator, and I was hoping it would incorporate more robust tackle options similar to those found in Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4, but I was let down. Now, a subscriber of mine brought up an interesting point in a comment he left on one of my Fishing Sim World videos. 
He basically said the game was lacking overall depth, and I have to agree with him. There is no real progression towards a goal in Fishing Sim World. You can get out there and catch a 14 pound bass or a 30 plus pound pike on your very first cast. There seems to be no real tangible difference between the fishing gear and all of the gear is available for you to buy at the beginning of the game. You just have to buy it when you have the money. But why buy new gear if you can reel in monster fish with ease on the lower priced setups? Also, all the lakes are available to you at the beginning of the game, which may be appealing to some, but I personally feel this takes away from the feeling you get when you are about to finally unlock a new lake to fish on. A positive side to all this is that there is really no grind to the game, like there is with games like Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4, but there is also nothing really to work towards accomplishing in the game, other than placing high on the leaderboards in the competitions. So let's talk about the competition, shall we? I feel the competitions are very well done in Fishing Sim World. The competitions last for a real-time week, and you can enter them whenever you want during the week. No scheduled competitions that you have to adjust your time for based on your real-life schedule. Also, you have three attempts at each tournament during the course of the week, and your highest score from those attempts would be the one chosen for your final score for that competition. I personally like the competition setup in Fishing Sim World, and I believe other fishing games could benefit from having a similar competition setup. Moving on to the bugs in the game. Fishing Sim World does have some issues that need to be fixed, and I'll go over them now. Occasionally, when in the menus, your selection icon will disappear, and you will not be able to select the type of rod, reel, or lure that you want. It just goes away, and you can't select anything. You can back out of the menu, but you won't be able to fix the issue without completely exiting the game, providing it doesn't occur again when you restart it. This bug appears to occur at random. Also, when you join a multiplayer session that a friend hosted, there are a variety of bugs that can occur. At some point, you may encounter the problem of not being able to switch from driving your boat to fishing and vice versa. It will tell you to press the button or key to switch, and you do it, but nothing happens. Also, you may experience a black screen when landing a fish, rather than seeing yourself holding the fish. Your screen will go completely black and you will not be able to see yourself showing off your catch. Now you can progress forward and get back to fishing, but it is quite disheartening to not be able to view the fish you have fought and caught. There are also a few glitches that have occurred, including a fish getting caught under a dock when I was reeling it in, preventing me from landing the fish. This was frustrating when it occurred, because it was during a competition and that fish would have bumped me up on the leaderboards, but instead, my rod reset and the fish just disappeared. What a bummer. Now these bugs and glitches were experienced on the PC version of Fishing Sim World and they may not even exist on the console versions. Conversely, the console versions may have bugs that I haven't experienced yet. If you've encountered bugs on console that I did not mention, please feel free to list them in the comments section below. Now I'm going to try to answer the number one question I've been asked over the past week. Do I think Fishing Sim World is better than Fishing Planet? Well, I think Fishing Sim World is definitely different than Fishing Planet. Think of the first person shooter genre. You have games like Battlefield and Call of Duty and both are shooter games, but they're very different shooter games. Fishing Planet and Fishing Sim World are both fishing games, but they are very different fishing games and I can enjoy both of them and their differences. One thing I can say is that the fish hooking and fighting mechanics are very different, and if you're coming from Fishing Planet, you will have to get used to the controls in Fishing Sim World. Now, the most important question I've been asked is this. Is Fishing Sim World worth buying? I would have to say yes and no. Fishing Sim World is overall a decent fishing game, and if you enjoy fishing games, you'll probably enjoy Fishing Sim World but I don't feel it is worth the $39.99 price tag. With the current bugs, lack of tackle depth, and limited fish species, I just can't justify paying $40 for this game. A price of $19.99 seems much more fitting for this title. So if you're on the fence regarding whether you should purchase Fishing Sim World, I would recommend waiting until the game actually goes on sale.
What do you think of Fishing Sim World? Are you enjoying it? Are you hating it? Are you experiencing bugs that I didn't cover? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. That will conclude this honest review of Fishing Sim World. I hope you found it helpful. And with all that said, you all know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you'd like to stay up to date on future content, please subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.